Zion chapter 9, verse 6. The King James Version Bible has this to say. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. This verse cannot be misunderstood, undisputed that there is a literal son from the Father, and he was given to us by the Father, and his name is called. He was called by his Father, the Mighty God. He was called as the Everlasting Father, but He is not the Father. Jesus is not the Father. He was called by His Father, the Mighty God, Everlasting Father. He is the Prince of Peace. Friend, this verse, in connection with the New Testament verse of Matthew 28, 19, in the name of the Father, Son, Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Baptizing them in, the, in that name coincides with what we call the Father has given authority and called His Son those names. But He is not, Jesus is not, the Father. There is the real Father, the only true and living God. Many would use this, but they did not realize that Isaiah did not believe in the Trinity Doctrine, nor Matthew believes in the Trinity Doctrine, nor teach them. Both of them, Isaiah and Matthew, never taught the three in one God. So this verse cannot be applied or used to say that Jesus is the Father. No one believes that Jesus is the Father in the time of Isaiah and in the time of Matthew. What do they believe? That there is only one God, the real Father, who gave His Son all His authority, including name. And that's why He is called at the end of that verse, the Prince of Peace. He is not the King of Peace because the King of Peace is our Father. He is the Prince of Peace, clear and sure. Do not confuse Jesus, friend. He is the literal, real Son of God, the Prince of Heaven. And do not confuse the one true God. He's the great God, Jehovah. He's the King of kings and Lord of lords. And He gave that name to His Son, that title to His Son when He comes again with power and glory. When Jesus comes, the Father will be there. Two divine beings, the Father and the Son. Jesus is the real Son of God. God is the real Father and the source of all. May this be the truth that we will ponder and meditate upon. I pray, amen.